Hey everyone, this is Josh from WeMaker with a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record any online meeting and using AI powered subtitle generator to automatically add subtitles in 35 plus languages. I repeat, 35 plus languages automatically. This video has two parts. In the first part, we will look at how you can record any online meeting using WeMaker. In the second part, I will show you how you can add subtitles to the meeting that you've just recorded. Part 1. Let's get started with the meeting recording. To record any meeting, the first thing that you'll have to do is get started with WeMaker. Just sign up for WeMaker, download the WeMaker app and install it on your computer. You can check out the link in the description. WeMaker is available as a standalone application for Windows and Mac. Also, if you're using a browser-based meeting like Google Meet, you can use WeMaker's Chrome plugin. I've added the link to a detailed step-by-step -step installation guide in the description. For this video, we will be using the WeMaker Mac app to record a meeting on the Zoom app. But you can record any online meeting using WeMaker. Here are the steps to follow. So the first step is to go ahead and join the Zoom meeting that you intend to record. I'm going to launch the Zoom app and click on join meeting. Enter the meeting ID. And join the meeting that I intend to record. There we are. The next step is to launch the VMaker app. Select the screen recording mode. Click on full screen recording. And if you're looking to record the voice of your meeting participants in high quality, then do enable computer audio. This allows vMaker to directly capture the audio from your computer. Finally, click on start recording. You might see this pop-up that says select same as system under select a speaker option in Zoom. We will do this setting when the recording starts. This basically allows vMaker to work in tandem with the Zoom application to record the audio in high quality. Now let's go ahead and check the settings. Click on the button next to the mute button and select same as system. So it's already selected over here and same as system for microphone as well. Let's take a quick look at the control menu of vMaker which is on the left side of your screen. The first red button is the button to stop your recording. As soon as you click on it, the recording stops and the video is automatically uploaded to the vMaker cloud storage. The second button is the pause button. You can click on it to pause the recording just in case the meeting has a particular section that you do not want to record. The next one is the delete button. Using this, you can abort the recording. The video gets deleted right away. Now to stop the recording, we're going to click on the red button and as soon as we do that, the video gets uploaded directly to the vMaker cloud storage. From here, the next step I'm going to do is rename the video and I'm going to give the name as meeting recording without subtitles. There we go. Now let's go ahead and download the video. As soon as you hit on download, the video gets downloaded and will be available for you in the downloads folder of your computer. Let's just double check the name and yes, that's the video. The next step is to open Subtitle Generator by Animaker. I've added the link to the Subtitle Generator in the description so you can go ahead and make use of it. Uh, this is what the Subtitle Generator page looks like. Click on Upload File. There we go. The Subtitle Generator is here. It's now time to upload the recorded video of the meeting. I'm going to select the file and open it. So once the video is uploaded, there are three ways to add subtitles. So the first way is to add subtitles automatically using the AI powered subtitle generator. Or you can also manually add the subtitles by typing it. Finally, you can also upload a subtitle file and add it to the video. For this video, we will be using the auto subtitle feature. Let's go ahead and click it. Once you do that, the AI engine automatically detects the language and starts generating the subtitles. The best part is that the AI engine can generate subtitles in 35 plus languages. If you're not familiar with the language in which your meeting was hosted in, don't worry, Animaker Subtitle Generator has your back. There we go, the subtitles have been generated. Now let's take a deeper look at the subtitles. The red highlights that you see is for words that the subtitle generator is not sure about. So either you can edit them or mark them as correct. Moving on, you can also go ahead and edit any of the content that you want to. 
uh, if you feel that it is not what is communicated in the meeting, you can go ahead and change or add in more text. If you feel that the subtitles are not in sync with the video, you can also alter the time frame between which the subtitles appear. So all you got to do is select between which time to which time the subtitles of a particular content should appear on the video. Moving on, there's one more word highlighted in red. I'm going to mark it as correct. And this looks good to me. So let's take a preview of the subtitles. Like you can see over here, the subtitles of the meetings are appearing on the preview screen. If you want to customize the appearance of the subtitles, you can do that as well. Just click on settings. Starting from the font size, you can pick a font of your choice from all the collections that are available. You can increase or decrease the size of the font based on your preferences. Moving on, you can also change the font color. I'm going to go ahead and select red and because I've selected red, I feel that a light background will look good. So I'm going to change the background colors as well to a lighter shade and there we go. So that's how it looks like now. Uh, to this, you can also make the font bolder and add italics. You can also change the alignment of the text. You can either make it centered or align it to a side. And you can also transform the text to uppercase or lowercase. To improve the aesthetics, should you wish, you can change the letter spacing or the line spacing. If you're looking to cut the effort, you can choose from our default options. We have some really cool font types, text color, background colors, etc. I'm going to select this one because it suits the animated theme. There we go. Let's take a quick preview now. Like you can see over here, the font style, the background color, everything has been updated. To save this video, go ahead and click on the download button on the top right side of the screen. I'm going to change the name of this video to meeting recording with subtitles. You can select the resolution in which you want to save the video in. I'm going to select 720p because it's the right balance between good video quality and optimum file size. Moving on, you can choose in which format you want to export the video in. I'm going to select MP4 and click on download. The video will be processed and available for you to view the video or you can also download the video and save it to your computer. Let's quickly take a look at the video that we have just downloaded. I'm going to go to my downloads file and there you can see the video has been downloaded. I'm going to rename it to meeting recording with subtitle. There we go. So I'm going to just play this video and take a preview. And like you can see over here, the subtitles will start appearing on the screen. Let me just minimize this now and go ahead and show you the top gun feature of the subtitle maker. It's the translation feature. What I'm going to do is I already have a video in Spanish language. So I'm going to import it to the subtitle generator and show you how the subtitle generator automatically detects the language and then translate the subtitles to a language that I am familiar with. So the first step is to add subtitles to this video. There we go. The subtitles have been generated in Spanish. Like you can see over here, we will go ahead and click on translation add a new language and we will pick a language to which we want to translate the video to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select English, click on translate to English and click on done. The subtitles are now being translated from Spanish to English and will be available right away. Click on the view icon next to the language you've translated the subtitle to and there we go. The subtitles are available here. You can go ahead and edit these subtitles as well change the timestamp, change the text and the customizations of your choice. Once you're done with that, it's time to download the video. Go ahead and click on the download button on the top right side of the screen. Rename the video to a name of your choice. I'm going to rename this as Spanish meeting translated to English. There we go. The video will be processed and available for you to download and save to your computer. Did you like this video? 
give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the vmaker youtube channel for more such informative videos if you have any questions drop them in the comment sections and i will answer them right away see you in the next video cheers